What's going on, everybody? Jay Sandin here with USSportsBonus.com, getting you ready for Game 2 of the Atlanta Hawks-New York Knicks series. Of course, the Atlanta Hawks taking Game 1 in Madison Square Garden. Should be a very interesting Game 2 as the 15,000 fans in the Garden are certainly going to try and will the New York Knicks to victory. And I think they get that done. I do like the Knicks minus the two points in this game. Let me tell you why. First of all, Julius Randle, probably the best player in this series. He won the league's most improved player award just this week. He only scored 15 points in game one. I think you can expect a better performance out of Randle in this game. But I also think some of the role guys for the Knicks, but you know, below Randle, I think they have big games as well relative to what they did in game one. Reggie Bullock, the sharpshooter of sorts for the Knicks, he missed every single one of his three-point attempts in game one. R.J. Barrett and Bullock combined for a one for 11 shooting performance from beyond the arc. That, of course, was not enough to get the job in, done in game one, but I think they will, by default, shoot the ball better from long range in game two here. Of course, the Knicks second in the league in the regular season in three-point shooting percentage, hitting 39% of their long-range jumpers. They're around 33% in game one, so I expect them to come up closer to their season average in this ball game. I also think the Knicks, by default, are going to do a better job defensively on Trey Young. Trey Young was getting everywhere he wanted on the floor. And I'm not going to sit here and get into the whole foul hunting thing. I mean, you got New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio alleging Trey Young of foul hunting. Let me tell you something. Every single player in the league looks for contact and to draw fouls. So A, they can go to the free throw line and B, so they can get their opponents into foul trouble. So I don't hate on Trey Young for any of that. But I think by default, the Knicks are going to do a better job of not letting him get where he wants with the right hand into the lane the way he did late in that game. And I just think some bad bounces went the Knicks' way late. Of course, that scramble possession where Bogdanovich hit the game tying three. That ball gets deflected any other direction. It's a turnover, and the Knicks win the game. I think the Knicks get the bounces tonight. The crowd helps them. And I think just by default, some better performances from the key guys in the Knicks' starting lineup – Deliver them a win. They cover the two points. For more on this game, be sure to check out USSportsBonus.com. Until next time, this is Jay Sandin saying see you later. Good luck on your NBA playoff bets tonight.